Hi, this is Danny from Nintendo Cage, and I'm really excited to be unboxing this for you guys. This is the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 12 inch PVC statue by First Four Figures, and this is the exclusive edition. I've been a big fan of their figures for many years, and collecting numerous amounts for, for the Zelda franchise, including other video game franchises as well. If you're a big fan of Majora's Mask or Zelda in general, I thought that this might be a nice addition to your collection. So I'll be showing you everything that's in this exclusive edition. That does include every feature lighting and the work so you're going to see all in detail what you do get in this version um, and as well as the features i'll be explaining in thorough detail so i'm going to show you the box itself uh, what's it all about you can see right away in the center do have this nice majora's mask design with the logo on top and around the borders here you see various masks uh, and motif uh, from majora's mask you have the deku mask the zora mask the goran mask and the fierce deity mask on the opposite side you do see on the panel the, the majora's mask logo and same thing in the back the logo and a different version uh design of the majora's mask itself and this is a 12 inch figure as i mentioned before it is a licensed product by nintendo so it is an official product endorsed by nintendo so i will be unboxing this for you guys to so check out everything inside and uh let's crack it open Okay, so we have this beautiful box and uh, with this exclusive edition, it does contain this again, uh, Beauty Design Premium box and it is in high quality, very thick uh, card stock or cardboard stock if you will. Uh, has some glossy finishes like the logo here and uh, the outline of the Majora's Mask. And it's similar to the design you saw earlier in the cardboard box earlier. Um, so we're gonna flip it over to the other side. And the panels here, oh my goodness, this is amazing. You can see the various masks in Majora's Mask, and of course, the uh, this is gold trimming of Majora's Mask here, and this is first four figures. Really impressive. On the top side, same thing. On the uh, other panel, more designs of masks, and on the back side here is a different color. It's in a bluish tint, but same kind of design and a little bit more simplistic gold trimming of the the border you saw earlier really nice and this does go well in terms of displaying with the figure so this is again the exclusive edition of, uh, and this is the only way you can get this box all right so i'm gonna open this up oh wow okay so you do get a, a card that you can register your game your not the game but the figure you can think of game because this is majora's mass after all um, you can pull it out and play, display with your figure, of course. I do like the nice glossy design there. And this is uh, around the mat. So they have this tab here you can pull. Really nice touch, pulling it up. And you agree with the figure itself. I'm going to take this out. Okay, so right away, it is a gorgeous Majora's Mask. You can see through the box itself, there's a base included. I'll go in more detail with that. And the side panel here has a nice design that you're familiar if you played the N64 original. They have the Majora's Mask emblem design here going around to the back side. And this is how the back looks like. Uh, just a couple of features you see. Again, it is a 12 inch figure. Uh, it does have an eye and base with two functions. Again, I'll go in detail. Uh, it's wall mountable. So if you're interested in decorating your game room in a, you know, instead of on a table, you can do that. On the side, another side panel, on the other side panel, same design. On the top side, you have the Majora's Mask logo. Really sweet. And finally, at the bottom, just some information here. Third unboxing. Here we go. Finally, taking everything out, it was quite a bit. It is to protect it, of course, right? You can see from the mask, I'm gonna take it out. It is two pieces, really hefty, very heavy, I should say, for its size. I was actually quite surprised at the, the weight of it. Uh, the paint job is phenomenal. Look at the eyes, the spikes, 
oh my goodness on the back side you can see the the texture to it it does have a really interesting texture that gave this rustic feel that's been worn and it's uh gone through quite a bit look at that oh my goodness the paint job is phenomenal as you can see from top to bottom all the way to the back side again there is a tab here that's for the battery if you guys are wondering and this here is the keyhole to hang or mount to a wall so again you can uh, stand use the stand to put on a table or you can put it on the wall as you wish in your game room just a little I'm gonna take this out for a moment just a wondering this uh, backdrop here um, is from the game and of course uh, what is then back with the mass stored in so you can use this as a backdrop if you wish it is part of it it does include a uh, pamphlet so in case you're wondering and I'll take this out and give you guys a much better look of the statue with the base and stand and in hand okay put this down for now this is how the stand looks like it does have a port here you can see this is where it would con communicate with the mask itself and this does light up so these uh, two pieces does have to uh, LED modes, um, the eyes. I'm just going to go with the mask going back to the original part, part here. So the eyes of the mask does have two LED modes. It does have a static. So what that means is it will stay lit up in like a, just w like in yellow. So it keeps staring, glaring at you in this one tone. And also it has this pulsing light mode. So you can switch between the two modes through a motion sensor. So you can move your hands across. And it will detect something and it will switch between the static and pulsing modes of the lighting. So it gives that really extra nice uh, flare to the mask itself. And it's kind of the sinister look if you wish to kind of creep out someone, right? Uh, the base does have a similar function as well. Again, it has a static mode. It does emit a white light since you can see the base is white. And also it does have a pulsating mode where it goes through uh, different cycles of colors, which, which includes white, red, blue, yellow, and green. So, and of course, uh, going back to the back side, you can pull out this tab, and this is where it would, you could, you see this port here, you could charge it with the base. It does include a USB cable. I'm not gonna take it out right now because it's gonna take a quite a bit, but you can imagine, take that cable, you uh, plug it into the back port of this base here and you can charge it in, in the battery that's included here. This is a lithium ion battery and this is where you would change the modes that I was mentioning earlier. So it, everything's included. You could just go use it right away. And if you're wondering, you can use like a phone charger or any kind of USB charger that's plugged with a USB cable. You get the idea USB A and this is a micro looks like a micro US, uh, USB port. Well guys, I hope you enjoy my unboxing of this The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask 12 inch PVC statue by First World Figures exclusive edition. I'll be putting down below in the video links for you to check it out if you're interested in getting one of these for your collection and displaying proudly if you especially love the Zelda franchise. If you enjoyed this unboxing, I do appreciate a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to Nintendo Kate for more episodes like this coming your way. I am Danny and I'll catch you again on the next episode.